long project for um, peace education and community building for my certification from Montessori 10 years ago. Um, and I started incorporating a lot of this in our classroom and it has just spread throughout the whole school. And many of these things are being used in all the classrooms in the lower and upper also. Um, it starts with us reading books about peace from day one. They walk through the door. We read a book about peace. We talk about what peace is to them, how they feel about peace, um, and just get them exposed to the books. Um, I brought, as opposed to doing a lesson lesson, I'm just going to show some of the activities that we have in our classroom um, in our peace education area. Um, this is the tree of friendship. When anybody does anything kind for themselves, or a friend, or a teacher, or their community, their environment, um, they come over and put an object on the tree, and it changes um, monthly. So the moment um, we start with a bear tree on Monday, and we bring it to the line, and, and we haven't as much lately, but we first started showing how bare this tree looks without anything on it and how we wanted to make it beautiful by Friday, and beautiful and colorful. Um, so this is a bad for Tuesday. And then um, many Fridays we bring it to the line and talk to the children about what they did that week if they put an object on the tree. And it gets to the point that they do kind things and they forget to put an object on the tree. And that's the idea of it, just to be natural to do something kind for each other. Um, they love to see it beautiful. They remark to us, so, look at the tree, it's really filling up with colorful objects. So they really do notice it and they get very excited when the months change because the objects change. And um, even the children have been back year after year, they kind of forget what the objects are month to month, so they're even surprised what comes out every month. Um, another activity that we introduce early in the year are called the worry stones. And you might think early childhood children do not have worries, only adults, but that's not true. We all have worries any age. Um, we talk about what a worry is, and they know what a worry is, what bothers them, um, what they think about it makes them maybe sad. Um, we introduce this very early in the year because we do have children that are missing moms and dads. Um, maybe a parent is on a trip um, and they're missing them. Um, and to them, that is a genuine worry. Um, and to demonstrate this, we bring this to the line, both on a rubbed um, the heart hole with the stones, and they're all different, beautiful, soft, and soft, smooth mm -hmm. stones. And we have a beautiful box that we put them in. And they can, this is in the peace corner, and they can go in the peace corner and choose a stone and put it over their love lights that we have told them their hearts are their love lights that sometimes are dim and sometimes are bright. And we want to try to keep them bright. And they can close their eyes if they want and put that worry into this stone. This represents their worry. And then they can put it away in this beautiful box. And if it were that easy for all of us as adults, that really helps the children. Um, and it's always so interesting to see children back in the Peace Corps with that over their love light. And, just, and we never ask them unless they tell us what their worry is. And if, and if a child is having a particularly bad day, we may say, this is early in the year especially, um, do, do you need a worry stone? Do you need to go get a worry stone? And they're like, oh, yes. It's just like you see them, oh. So, I'm really glad we're using this and continue to. Um, this isn't the actual circle of friends because I couldn't get everything in the basket, but um, children in our classroom, I'm, I'm sure you've heard of this light, the circle of friends candle. And we light that any day that a child is absent because we want them to be sent happy thoughts. Um, we really try to have them think outside themselves, not be so self-centered. Um, that the, the wild, wide uh, community, and I want you to know, um, I have to speak for our children, they
they have become so aware of things that are happening around them. And it's made them aware of things that are happening in the world. Um, we have some children that watch the news all the time with their families. And they're reporting that there are hurricanes coming to these three countries that we need to send happy thoughts to. There was a, um, a spill, some type of spill in Hungary. So we sent happy thoughts to the people of Hungary. And also to um, people of Haiti. We had the tragic earthquake and now have a tropical storm, Tomas, I think, that it is coming towards them. So they think outside themselves, and that's what we want. Um, and I want you to know they do send happy thoughts to moms and dads that might be ill or on a trip. Um, and we always um, end by saying peace in our classroom, peace in our school, peace around the world. And then sometimes if they have another happy thought, they might want to send it to somebody else but not say it out loud. They could whisper it then. And it's just, um, I just felt a very special time in our classroom. Um, as Rebecca's been in our classroom, I know it. It just, they, they take it very, very seriously. And they're very peaceful. And each month, again, is a different candle snuffer that I've been trying to collect. And they think this one looks like a pilgrim hat. This is our November candle snuffer. And then a child will snuff out the candle. They don't do the lighting of the match or anything else for a teacher. But, um, we have four candles in our circle of friends. And during the week, when there is um, someone absent, we only light one candle. But then to signify the end of the school week, we light all four and turn off the lights. So it signifies the end of our school week together. Um, I know every classroom. Um, it may be a different color, but this is our peace rug. Um, you notice it's a different color than our white rugs that we use for work. Um, this is the only rug in our classroom that they can sit upon. They can take off their slippers, they can sit on it, they can lay on it. Um, they can get a pillow from the peace corner and lay on it. Um, it is to give them peace. Um, some Montessori classrooms call it the silence rug. Um, but we've chosen to call it the peace rug because um, even, they are going to have silence, but it is peace. Um, sometimes they can take an object from the peace shelf. Um, we have timers, we have, um, I'm not sure what to call the floaty things that you turn over and the bubbles come down. It's just very peaceful activities. Um, sometimes an older child may do a big, huge work for them academically, and they need just a time to relax and have some peace. They may use the peace rug for that. A younger child may just explore it and sit on it and just be able to sit on a rug because you're not supposed to sit on the other ones or lay on the other ones. So it serves a lot of purposes in our classroom. Um, every classroom in our school has a peace corner. Um, and it is used for many different things. Um, there are books, peace books in there. There are um, activities of things they could hold besides the worry stones. There are, um, like I say, books they could read. Um, now we have a felt board in our peace corner where they can make a fall scene. That'll change um, every month. Um, and some children may just be having a bad day and they need to relax in the peace corner and get some time to themselves. Um, some children use it just to sit and look at a book that they want to by themselves. And just relax and get away from the outside world in the classroom. Um, we also have a heart-shaped rug that we call the love light rug. And um, different than the peace rug, um, if, if a child may be having um, some difficulty with another child, and they use the words, your love light might be a little dim right now. They use those words to each other. That they could sit on the love light rug and hopefully their love light can get a little brighter. And when they're ready, they can get up and um, they feel their love light is brighter.